What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends of all ages? I'm your host, Thrun the Last Troll. And, uh, what are we doing here? We could upheaval. We could build around the upheaval. That sounds like a fun thing to do. Otherwise, I'm just taking cryptic command, but, uh,. Yeah, deserts were the the uh, the card I thought of when I thought of Crucible. I think we're just gonna take up people. And my nose is itching. Oh, tree speaker is good with up people, but you know what else is good with up people? Blue cards like True Name Nemesis. <laughs> Don't think you need to be very cryptic about this pick. Yeah, that's that's true. I don't want you guys to fall into upheaval because of this pick either. So, God, it's true name or Draga Speaker. That's where that's where that's, that's what I'm on right now. No way! I got my color back, right? I'm not lingering soul status anymore. I got a nice I got a nice nice flush tone. I mean, like, if we're going to if we're gonna upheaval, we're probably gonna be green. So I'm just gonna take this. It feels weird because true name nemesis is super good, but them's the breaks. Tamio Moon Snage. It's probably just Tamio. And we'll try not to tap our own Tamio down with her ability because that is a uh, what's known as a little a little punterino. The S is silent in Snage. Oh, it's Tamio the Moon Nage. That's interesting. That's interesting. I'm learning all kinds of things today about all of you, all of my little children. Little Twitch children. That that's me. That's me. Uh, you know what? Never mind. I don't even know how to explain what I'm just gonna say right here. I have several grayish silver hairs in my beard, and they stand out horribly and don't look distinguished in any way. Yeah, you just gotta wait till it's full. You gotta just wait for that for that moment. Metalworker could be great, but I think we're just taking the Wall of Roots. Augur of Bolas is not very good. Avenger of Zendikar is good, but I want the ramp cards now. I want the ramp cards now! It's pronounced Soggy? Oh, Tamio the Moon Soggy? Okay, well, this is all very strange. In before you make fun of me. Well, you gotta get in pretty early in the morning before that happens, buddy. The green decks are interesting because you end up taking a lot of, like, mediocre ramp cards over powerful cards in the hopes that you can get more additional powerful cards later. I wouldn't say more powerful as in, like, more powerful, but, like, uh, you know, for, uh, additional powerful cards. Oh, the old Blightsteel deck was pretty baller. I like I was a fan of that. Arbor Elf, that's a gentleman. And there's not really much in this pack that I would take over an Arbor Elf, so. <laughs> oh, Creechies, that's an old that's an oldie but a goodie. Finhorn Elves. Alright, so we're just getting all of the ramp creatures right now. We're probably going to play 16 lands if we play this Finhorn Elves. Savannah could be good? Virtuous Gearhulk, also not terrible. Progenitus is also nice if we end up getting that natural order. Hmm... A step where a step where we draft two decks and switch each game. Good lord, good lord. It's possible. 
Um, I think it's probably Progenitus over Savannah. I think the upside of getting Natural Order is higher. Oh, Mystic Snake. You are my favorite. Thrun is a thing? Kitchen Finks is a thing? Probably Thrun. I think Thrun is better than Finkos. I can't imagine Ben also got the Time Walk. I think he just got the Mox and the... If Ben got Time Walk, Mox, and Underground Sea, I would be actually amazed. And that would be... You'd basically be the luckiest dude ever. I don't hate Lightning Greaves here. Also, Mystical Tutor searches for upheaval. Disco Biscuits, what did you say? Hold on. I got Just finished the voice still deck on YouTube before you went live. That deck is... Oh, someone else said a similar thing. So I, was, I wasn't sure if it was you or not. Someone else said, okay, guys, just finished watching the Blightsteel 3.0 on YouTube. So I saw just finished Blightsteel, and I just actually thought it was the same one. That was my bad. I'm sorry, buddy. One of these cards are great for us. Maybe we can splash red and be this guy. I don't know. Magic's hard. Dan Omak with the, the the random 26 bits. Thank you so much, buddy. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh, I think it's probably Spell Skite over Smuggler's Copter for us. Uh, Shielder, it seems fine. All right. I'm okay with all of this. Made a card choice I couldn't agree with, so I just couldn't finish. I think I saw that comment. I think I saw your reply to it, and you were like, but why? <laughs> it doesn't even make any sense. Someone's like, I had to stop watching after you passed this card. And I was like, okay, well, that's weird. It's weird to me when people only watch a video when you make the same picks they would make. And at that point, I'm just like, you just want to watch yourself? Which, oddly enough, is probably true more times than not. I'm going to take this treachery, because that is a very good card. And in lieu of in lieu of power, this is probably one of the best things you can get. Oh, I didn't take Mystic just because I, obviously Treachery is significantly better. Tropical Island, that's where I want to be. I love Compulsive Research, but Tropical Island seems more relevant to our. Well, to our deck. Fresh, organic, non-GMO bits. That's all I ask for. I don't like any pesticides in the... You know, in the in the use of my bits. I don't know. Kerwit, if you donate 30, can we do it? Yeah, we'll do that. I mean, I'm, I can't... Okay, so here's the thing. I'll do it, 100%. But I don't want to guarantee we'll have a reasonable deck if we do it. Because we could... It, it could be very hard to get... Can I have colors overlap? Like, can I switch from a red-green deck to a green-blue deck or something like that? Just so... Um, so that we have enough cards? Because if both cards have 23... There has to be some overlap. So salty. Thank you so much for the resub. And uh, hi, Lazu. It takes some sympathetic petroleum base. Oh, that's too bad. Courser or Simic Signet? Probably Courser, actually, because we have uh, multiple ways to play this guy. I, I was going to say this guy. You guys are saying Simic Signet. I think it's actually Courser because the... I mean, it lets us play... 
you can play course around turn two very consistently in our in our deck ideally i think we can also get other signets probably not the simic signet for obvious reasons but simic is good with upheaval you are correct I think it's just I, I like agent, but I don't because if we hit any kind of counter spells like mana drain or anything like that, it just gets worse. Um I also don't love it with Mystical Tutor. I kinda like Batter Skull more. I think Batter Skull is stronger. Nissa World Waker is very good. So is Death Rite Shaman. Oh, overlapping six cards? Oh my god. I like Sower of Temptation. I think Sower is good. Death Rite Shaman is good. We don't have any fetch lands though, so I don't think Death Rite Shaman is that good. I just watched someone lose their mind over the fact they were printing Crucible Worlds in 19. Told to leave the store kind of losing it. Oh my god. Get your life together. Nissa is good ramp, but she's good ramp for like... I still think it's Nissa actually. Nissa's very strong. Plus we already have a Treachery, so we have a Sower of Temptation effect here. Insane two deck draft overlap <laughs> six card. 30, 30 insane two deck draft overlap six card bucks. Seems good. All right, we'll do that next. Ancestor Vision is not the. It's, oh, it's got to be Skull Clamp in a, in a green deck, right? It's got to be Skull Clamp. This is actually the perfect Skull Clamp deck, I think. Like, if we get to activate Skull Clamp once, we're basically already. It's basically already. Uh, an ancestral vision, right? One DDT bug. Am I doing this right? I, what is DDT? Is that is that the chemical? I don't think so, but maybe. Oh, we did it! Oh, that seems good. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. All right, we're taking this natural order because we have this progeny. This could be the perfect natural order deck now. That's poison. Oh, green green sun zenith too, and a control magic. I think it's actually control magic over green sun zenith. I do like natural order and a mystic snake. That's where I want to be. I'm gonna take the control magic. Oh, thrashing brontodon is actually main deckable, and it kills so many relevant things. I'm gonna take this bronto. Big bronto boy. Pelucranos. That's a threat. Our deck's looking great right now. Oh, Kerwin, I don't want you to be at a meeting and have to watch it on YouTube. Let me know when you want me to... If, if we can do it at a better time, let me know. Because I'll just do it at a better time. Please don't unban Green Sun Zenith. Don't do, don't do it. One Barbobbly Boy with the Twitch sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really, really appreciate it. Good times. I could hate this high tide and make someone's storm deck real miserable. I'm just going to take Field of Ruin because it's the best. Sure, the Siege came back. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. This deck's looking pretty sweet right now. We got the Upheaval package. We got the Progenitus package. We got a Mishra's Factory. That's not exciting at all. We got a Control Magic and a te Teferi. We got lots of mana elves so far. So last picks, we could have got a Desperate Ritual and a Rite of Flame. It's interesting. Rite of Flame and Cube is interesting to me. Force of Will. Ancient Tomb. Well, I'll be... Blightsteel. Blightsteel doesn't do anything for our deck, unfortunately, because we can't natural order it. 
We're not upheavaling it. I do like Fraley's a lot, especially with Skull Clamp, because you can make a guy and then draw two cards. Her plus one basically says draw two cards. It's either Ancient Tomb or Fraley's. The problem with Ancient Tomb is that it just doesn't add mana for our guys. Blight still does do something if we get past Tinker. That is correct. A lot of cards do things if you're past other things, so... Yeah, my acoustic son. He's rough. It's rough. It's rough. I think it's Ancient Tomb. I think Fraley's might even come back. It's got to be Ancient Tomb, right? I can't feel bad about taking it. Tooth and Nail. We don't even have enough big creatures for Tooth and Nail, interestingly enough. I agree the Ancient ancient Tomb seems bad with our one drops. So we could go land, one drop, turn to Ancient Tomb, Natural Order, which is pretty sweet. Actually, I think I think it's still Tooth and Nail because we have Progenitus, so. I mean, it's either that or Eternal Witness, and I just think Tooth and Nail is much stronger. Plus, there's still time to get other Tooth and Nail targets. Factor Fiction, Edric... Or Lana or Elves. I don't think Jace is in the in, in, in the running here because we don't have... Uh, I don't really want double blue on turn three. Turn two, maybe even. And none of our none of our uh, one-mana guys are all colors. Like, we don't have any Birds of Paradise to, to help. I don't think we have enough creatures to warrant Edric. I think we have enough one drops. I think it's actually just factor fiction. Yeah, factor fiction's great. Muldrifter and a Thrag Tusk. Well I'll, well, I'll be. Both of these are good. I think it actually is Signet, oddly enough. Your boss is getting fired. I'm her boss. I'll be taking over. <laughs> oh, God. All right, we'll take the signet here. Show and tell. No, sir. No, sir. I don't need your traps. Snapcaster Mage doesn't seem great here. We just have Factor Fiction, Natural Order, Upheaval, and Mystical Tutor. Yeah, that's not great. Also, our, our Shardless Agent is still looking pretty reasonable in this deck so far. Uh, it's not a wall. It's not a wall. I think it's actually just Harmonize here. This is not a show and tell deck. <clears throat> Could be the wall. I don't. I don't think so. If this was, I wish this. Almost wish this was a overgrown battlement. Craig RTG, thank you so much for the resub. Even though it did not pop, I really appreciate it. I don't know why I wouldn't just because it didn't pop. That doesn't make any sense. I don't think this is a ballista, ballista deck. Ballista. I'd rather just have harmonizer. I'd rather just draw some cards. Sylvan carry added seems great. Savannah lines with the twenty five bits. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. Yeah, someone carry out it seems great. Rex Sage seems main deckable. That's cool. Um, we already have Thrashing Bronton on, but I, I don't mind I never mind having two of these effects in a cube deck because they're very strong. We could have also uh taken the repeal, but I think I think Rex Sage is a little better. Also, if, if that Fraley's doesn't table, then I I feel better about taking Rex Sage, so. Spell Sky can go on the sideboard. This is your sideboard card. So we have 25 lands. Oh, the old the old Shamrock Bucks. Leo Magic, thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Emrakul the Promised End. And Terastodon. I hate to have to sack it too. I agree with you. But if you don't sack it, it's just a better body. So that's that's the that's the upside there. It's gotta be Emrakul over Terastodon, right? You can natural order into Terastodon. Or you can't natural order into Emrakul. Which I think is stronger. I'll take Terastodon. I think Emrakul's the better card. I think Terastodon is the more synergistic card. So. I wonder if the Harmonize over here. It might just be worse than Factor Fiction. Maybe? 
One draws you three, one probably draws you two of the better cards in the top five. So, I'm not actually sure which is better in that situation. The Frailies came back. No respect. I'm going to take Brontodon out because of that. It's harder to cast than Reclamation Sage. Frailies is just a better card. You don't think this Nissa's making the deck? Untap four forests? That just lets us... I mean, untapping four forests and then playing... Um, what do you call it? Upheaval seems pretty good. I'm going to take this Aleshnorn. I don't need people playing Aleshnorn against this. Edric came back. So a lot of the cards we wanted came back, which is pretty sweet. We can Tooth and Nail for Alesh, but we have no other way to cast her. I think we have Azorius Signet, and that's probably it. Sorcerer's Spyglass is a reasonable sideboard card. Oh my god. Rob, you should have held off on telling me that in case it, hap in case it happens. That would have been sweet, man. How does he not have any? That's crazy. No, I gave up. <laughs> well, all right, well then. Well, that explains it. It all makes sense now. Well, Wall of Blossoms is probably not making the cut. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six cards that ramp us. This is definitely a 16 land deck. No power, though, unfortunately. So eight, no white, no black. I think it's eight, six, and then we can add the Ancient Tomb. So it's actually nine, seven. Wow, so I'm going to have you have me sign it or have me sign it as if I was the artist. Wow, that's really generous of you. Oh, look, another. Oh, they're adding lands for the progenitus, which is hilarious. Magic's like, oh, you got a card with two red? All right, we'll add one mountain. Cool. We almost had that situation again where we... Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can cut one of you, and we'll just add Ancient Tomb. Alright, this deck is sweet. Uh, I don't think we can go five. Like, all of our, like, double blue, double blue, double blue, double blue, double blue. We, there's, going five blue seems extremely risky. I, I do not support that at all. Especially when we only need one or two green to start casting our spells and getting more green, so... Do we need Progenitus? I mean, we have Natural Order and Tooth and Nail. So, I feel like we're, we're, we're losing a great opportunity if we just don't play Progenitus. I'm going to mulligan this hand. It's the same hand. Actually, like, half the cards in this hand didn't actually move. I'll keep it, because I'm not going to go to five. But if we get Tooth and Nail, we can play it on seven and reasonably feel okay about it, because 
we can just put progenitus into play. So I, I blame. Choose this. Choose the progenitus. <laughs> yep, didn't think you'd do that. All right. Well, natural order is worse now. I feel like this hand is not uh, a hand deserving of the of the vintage cube. Yeah, this is why we didn't play five because five islands because we're having trouble getting a second island, let alone uh, if we played five. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. If we get another land, we got six, but that's not exciting. Search into his counter. They only have two cards in hand, which is pretty reassuring. I'm actually very sorry. <laughs> Kermit the Frog, you didn't actually... What did you do? You didn't even do anything, man. Oh, the double blues, man. Yeah, I'm still laughing at the uh, five islands. That's not ideal. I mean, Azorius Signet would be good here. Put a gristle brand in the graveyard. Why aren't they attacking with that snake? Oh, that was a good draw. That was a very good draw. I think we just have to keep Mystic Snake up here, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could upheal, but that doesn't make any sense, so we're gonna wait. One, two, three. So we have six mana. We could we could play Tamio, but I mean then we're tapping out and Mystic Snake. Uh... Here we go. Yeah. Well, that was terrifying. But now we get a free turn to do whatever we want with, so that's pretty good. So now we can go one. Two, three, four, five. Tomato. And we're not going to draw, so I guess we're keeping. Tap down your, your thingamajig. All right, so this is actually good for next turn because we get to, uh, if we hit a land, we get to do a lot of things. We get to upheaval, play like two guys. We can go Wall of Roots into Arbor Elf or Findhorn Elf. So... Uh, how much? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana, so we can actually go Wall of Roots Elf. That seems good, right? One, two, three, four. No, we didn't have a people in hand from the Thoughtseize.
Could have a counter. We haven't seen anything that indicates a counter, though, so. Wow, boy. Yay, that seems uh, pretty good. Uh, we couldn't. How would we've drawn cards at the moon stage? We could draw two, sure, but we're already like we're upheavaling, so our hand is going to be full. So uh, it doesn't really make too much sense. Oh, we discard. Why didn't we just got the progenitus? That was terrible. Hey, discard a land instead of progenitus. Oh my god, I totally didn't think about it. This card has not been in my hand actually. Uh, it's just literally been on the sidelines, which is why we didn't do that. Here we go. Here we go with the why not discard progenitus comments. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep Snake up and next time we can play Tamio. Seems good. We can tutor Tooth and Nail now, but we are a bit off of being able to make that valuable. Oh, Mox Emerald. Well then. Do I care about this? I do actually just because we have blue blue. We have Tamio next turn. Well then. I don't think it's that. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't say I have that high of an IQ. Uh, I'm tapping on the black because they have a bunch of creatures in their graveyard that they likely want to reanimate. So if we're able to prevent that in any way, I would enjoy that. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll play Nissa. Untap you. And we'll put you on a two turn clock. <clears throat> That is fine. We're going to upkeep, get uh, Tooth and Nail. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana to cast it. Is that right? Actually, we just win here, right? Yeah, I don't. I think we're just going to win instead. I don't think we need to show them Mystical Tutor or Tooth and Nail. Okay, that'll do. <clears throat> oh, it was right there. It was there all along. It was always there. Um. All right, so they have Search for Ice Content. We already have Reclamation Sage and Fraley's in the main deck. Um. I guess we could... Spell Skype, but I don't see that being super relevant. The card that scares me is probably Living Death. I don't think we had a problem with cards at any point in that game. Like, we always had a full hand. I don't think Edric is super relevant. And we only have, like, three creatures that can attack before turn three. Like, we're not, we don't actually have a ton of creatures that attack. Plus, like, if they have anything out, like, we're not, we're, if they have Ophiomancer out, we're not attacking with Arborel for anything, so. Really? Really? <laughs> three out of three hands have started with a progenitus in hand. Like, it's just a mulligan. It's just an easy mulligan. Honestly, if this hand has... If there's a forest on top, we can keep it. 
we get we get two two reasonable draws to hit a forest, I think. A green source. Wow. Amazing. Oh, uh, Mystical Tutor in response to your Azoria Signet? Sure. For 100, that's not a forest bit. So appreciate it, Big Pokey. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, man. Magic is a hard game. What did they get? Frantic Search. That's fantastic. So they're just going to go Frantic Search, discard a guy, and then reanimate it in the same turn. Classic, classic cubes. It's cool, man. I got a Progenitus in my hand. What are you going to do about that? Nothing. Yep, Mask Worm. All right. Ophiomancer. Okay, that was not as bad as it could have been. Having a good time. Yeah, you got it, man. Take a, take a gander. Take a gander at my hander. Yeah, so the the progenitus is definitely going to be the thumbnail for this for this video. That's for sure. For obvious reasons. Already getting it right now. 328, just got back from Florida. I did everything on the agenda except getting a pub sub. That's, uh, that was the agenda, buddy. That was the entire plan. Yeah, we're, we're not going to play against a recurring nightmare here. Um, glad to be back in time to get some cube and renew my prime sub. Appreciate it, buddy. Always appreciate it, even though you didn't go to Publix. Which is really, it's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. Um... Oh boy. Oh you went oh you went to Publix. But you didn't get a sub. Well that's still not that's not okay. What are you doing? Get your life together. I feel like our deck does a lot of cool things. I just want to know uh how to do them, I think. <laughs> I think we're bored. I think we're just fine. I don't think we uh, got a key lime pine peanut butter cupcake and have the road. Okay, those are all okay things to do. We're not taking out the project. That, does that doesn't make sense. Like, they have Masker Worm and they have Ophiomancer. Like, we're not getting through their creatures. We're not going get to get in with an Arbor Elf. I'm going to keep this because we can at least play Control Magic off of Ancient Tomb. I'm going to keep it. I'm a risk. I'm a risk it for the biscuit, ladies and gentlemen. I'm playing this because if we draw a green and then we draw another green, it's just better to have this out. But I guess it doesn't matter because it's gonna be four mana by then anyway. I don't know. I don't know what happened to the green sources in our deck. Like this is actually kind of ridiculous. I'm actually kind of shocked. That's just fantastic. I mean, if we draw upheaval, we might we got a game. We can go Ancient Tomb, Azorius Signet after that. Hey, that's pretty good. I'm actually pretty sure it's Reclamation Sage here to kill their mocks. If they didn't do anything last turn, I don't really see like they're going to do anything this turn. Plus, we get another green. If we can play Arbor Elf, but, I mean, that's pretty dangerous. Freedan, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Grim Tutor. I don't get to see what that is. That's sad. I feel like they're a little behind, though. Like, I feel like we're both a little behind here. 
like they haven't done any kind of setup work like frantic search or buried alive or anything like that so even if they had living death or something it's just not gonna living death is actually an interesting answer to progenitus I can steal that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana. So we can actually control magic that and play natural order for progenitus. But if they have living death, it's pretty bad. Tin Man, thanks so much for the sub. Five months of last, been completely worth it. Appreciate that. Um, one, two. Three, four. I guess there's no reason to take two here. We did it, boys. I don't think we're going to control magic here because if they want a living, they have to living death this guy, right? So if they want a living death it, that's fine. But we can just block it for quite a bit. block this is all very confusing I mean if their plan is to living death so they can get their pack rat back I don't know why they're discarding swamps though even if they have living death they get pack rat we get reclamation stage then we can steal the pack rat and they won't have enough mana to, to do anything with it I like Fraley's here because actually if one, two, six, seven, eight, um, yeah, I'm just going to steal a rat. I mean, if they go make another rat time walk, that is actually pretty good. Okay, we just win because of Progenitus. Well, I'll be a biscuit. Progenitus ends up taunting us in every opening hand, and then we end up winning the game. Uh, we didn't make a guy because I like, if they time walk, um, Control Magic takes care of two rats. It takes care of the rat we steal and the rat we are able to block. And um, if they have time walk, I think that's one of their only win conditions, right? They go make a guy time walk. They attack for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then they go ne next turn, make two guys. And then they have like three guys out. So they're like all five fives and it's like 15 damage. So that is one of the ways we lose that game. I will play first. Not only are there no green sources, there is a progenitus in this hand again. Oh my f Are you serious right now? Is this a joke? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm trying to wrap my head around it, man. What is even happening, dude? Oh my god. Nope. Sure. You know what? This is terrible. This hand is really bad. Especially on the play. Oh god. I guess we're just living that slow life. Just cut the friggin' card. We just won the game. It just won us the game last game. Like, under. I mean, I believe, I, I understand it's an inconvenience to have it in your opening hand, but it literally wins you the game, so. Tropical Island. One time. One time. 
Polychronos. Similar. Can't. I just. I can't. I can't right now. Hello, oh, man. They have one. They have two lands here. I mean, we're not dead actually. If we can draw. There we go. Now we got a game. Five five seems good against their deck. Especially when they have to discard because they're running out of lands, so. Any land that we can go coarser. I will 100% block this guy. 1,000%. Actually, a 3 damage spell. We can actually shoot this guy. For 3. I think that 2 for 1 is fine. Also, because they, if they have a spell like a braid, uh, Abbott's going to be a 3-2, so they can cast it in response, so it doesn't really matter that much. Um, I want to play Corsair here. Next time we can Factor Fiction and guarantee hit a land. Which is nice. We can also try to draw one off the top. They can't Chain Whirler here, which is kind of nice. Okay, they can just char that guy, sure. Nice. Choose a pile to put in my hand. Wow, 4%. That's pretty ridiculous. Huh. <laughs> Take that tomb. Nah, buddy. That ain't happening. Might just be Fraley's make a guy. I think Fraley's making guys and is is pretty good at to, to upheaval at some point. Also, Tamiyo tapped down their Mutavolt is pretty good. It's one of these two. I think fire up the old Mutavolt, and then we got to block one. I'm just going to go Tamiyo here. Not gonna do anything with this land, but they don't need to know that, so. Also, I'm tempted to draw two cards off this Tamiyo. Especially more so now because all right, uh, I guess we'll just go to three, four. Not ideal, but... Okay, we died. Boy, talk about having it all. All right, well, Spell Sky can come in here. The run seems pretty good. Probably better than Pelucranos. Probably control magic can probably go. Hit the bricks. Uh, I don't actually think this is an upheaval matchup. Wall seems good. And I'm okay with going to 41 here. 
I also like thrashing Brontodon. Just because it's a big 3-4. Uh, I'm not a big Spyglass fan. They don't really have that many activated abilities. I mean, I can't recall an activated ability other than Mutavolt, and I know, or actually uh, Mishra's Factory, whichever one it was. And you have to... Uh, yeah. I mean, it could shut down the... Agent is a two-for-one. Which is not terrible. I think this is actually fine like this. I don't know why we'd lose the natural order. Like, progenitus, natural order into Thrasten on our progenitus is still pretty insane. Uh, this hand's way too slow. So, progenitus in the opener. Yeah, this is actually perfect. Yep, keep you on top. This is where I hope they have a Sol Ring or a Mox. That'd be sick. Rex Age into. Uh... Dang it. One time, one time. Don't have a one mana shooty spell. No, no blocks. Seems good. Got him. I will block your fire drinker Seder, I guarantee it. Oh, mountain. Oh, all the luck. Chain lightning our face. Okay. So we go to 12. They can't really attack here because we just block this guy. If they attack with both of these, we'll block this guy. And that's pretty epic, actually. Alright, so that should do it. Yeah, now we've seen Lava Mancer and Figure of Destiny, which are two of the only hits for uh, Spyglass. Fire Blast that guy. Then you have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Sure. I mean, we could be dead here. It's very possible. Incinerate our face. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep, I think it's exact. That's amazing to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh, magic's a hell of a game sometimes. Oh, so it's not exact. It's actually one more than they need because they have a uh, Grim Lava Mancer. Just the perfect opening. If they didn't have Grim Lava Mancer, if they didn't have Abbot of Carol Keep, if they didn't hit a mountain off of Abbot of Carol Keep, if they didn't uh, also have Fire Blast and a two damage, two two mana three three damage spell. Um, I mean, I guess if all of those things go right, then then they got us, but I don't know what's with these hands, man. Wow. Oh, come on. Come on, dude. <laughs> Looking for me? Nope, definitely not. Definitely not looking for you. Like, I think our distribution is like 9-7 between uh, green and blue sources. So, like, there's no real reason we should not be getting any green sources in our opening hands. For multiple mulligans. I think this is like four mulligans we've taken where we didn't get any green sources in our opening hands.
That's true. We know he's on the bottom, 100%. Doesn't actually seem realistic. It feels like a joke. Good news, everyone. A progenitus is on the bottom of the deck. All right, that's fine. I don't care about that. What did they hit? Chandra? Interesting. Why Blintel, man? What's your problem, dude? If you have a land, you get to Chandra here, which is pretty exciting. Well, that's good. Well, isn't that nice? All right. Incredible. Whenever I tap back in, you have a bunch of islands and no forests. Yeah, that does seem to be the way the uh, the cookie crumbles, as they say. Hopefully no land, or hopefully they forget how Oath of Nyssa works. Either one of those things is pretty, pretty good. That's a good that's a good command amped. I'm a fan. Alright, I'm just gonna take this. I assume you don't have a land, right? That's a land. Why don't you play this first and kill my elf so that I don't even have a chance to block? It's very interesting. Yep. Actually, you know, upheaval's pretty bad against the Mox Pearl Mana Crypt deck, so I'm not sure I'm thrilled about that. Or getting one, one land here. Uh, I haven't discussed Crucible Worlds and Escape Shift in Standard because they're basically meaningless in Standard. They actually don't do anything. Uh, if you got a tattoo of a piece of magic card, what would, what would you choose? I actually have Nautical Stars on this arm, and I was tempted to get uh, the waves going all the way around and uh, have like a Mull Drifter in the style of like the old school koi fish and also a lotus. A black lotus, like in the in the style of the like just in, in old school like lotus, um, so it's like a you know a traditional old school tattoo, but mixed with like magic art. So that that's been on my agenda for a bit. So yeah, this is this is just this game's over. <laughs> I'm like not even gonna play it out because I'd rather just I'd rather just you know finish this match and, and go to the next round. Um, Spyglass actually seems pretty good because we saw at least one target for it, so that's pretty cool. Can you draw it for me? No, probably not. I, uh, I'm going to veto that. Does Progenitus even have a face? Yeah, it's fine. All right, we're looking for forests, ramp cards, and no progenitus in our opening hand. Let's see if we can do it one time. The answer is no. I'm still going to mulligan this hand. One forest is not reasonable. This hand is significantly more reasonable, especially if we draw. Not you. Especially if we draw natural order straight off the top. Let's do that. It's going to be progenitus for all the lulls. Are you guys ready? Sure. I think I think progenitus does have multiple faces. That's 
It's not terrible, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use it now either. I'll use it next turn if we don't hit land drops. But if we hit land, if we hit any land, we can play Nissa. So that's probably where I want to be. Incoming Moldrifter Black Lotus tattoo bucks. Oh, that's pretty good. We hit a land this turn, so we can actually wait, I think. We can just make an elemental. That seems good. Draw cards. We can just draw cards now, though. Uh, one, two, three. This is pretty good, actually. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five. You. Destroy you. For reasons. Magic tattoo book. That's how much tattoos cost, right? It's very close. It's very close. I'll untap you two. Okay. I'll use you. Hopefully we'll draw some crads. That's good. Play you. Attack with you. But don't equip first, of course, because that would be terrible. I wouldn't want to add deal, deal extra damage. Uh, we destroyed land tax because we can't actually play any future lands without them profiting from it. So we also they also have no pressure on the board. So it's a good time to lower Fraley's. Create this guy. Target land you control too. That's pretty good. I feel like we're just getting in there for a million, right? Yeah, that seems okay. Man, what the magic the magic of this game when you're able to actually draw forests. Seems good. Magic is a good game. And that's the end. This is a hell of a card. And this is why this is why we keep like this is very strong. Someone's like, I don't think this is gonna make the cut. And this is very strong. Shivan, thank you so much for the bits. I really appreciate it. Um I think we're actually good like this. I don't actually have a problem with our deck. Except for the lack of drawing forests, but that seems like a fluke more than anything. I don't think that's indicative of the amount of forests we have in our deck. Welp. Ship it. Oh, come on. These are some of the worst hands I've ever gotten in the cube. And that says something. Yeah. <laughs> I was just watching one of you to keep when I realized you might be streaming. Switched over, here I am. Rosanna. Actually, this is not terrible because we actually can Mystical Tutor into, like, Natural Order. And then if we get any guy, we can go crazy. Well, that's pretty good. I think we just want to draw regular cards, though. Yeah, okay, I like that guy. That's a good dude. All right. Wait, what happened? Oh, they made a monk with Garrick and they targeted the monk? 
this is a very interesting choice here. That does not seem ideal. I'm gonna take out this is a this is a pretty good two for one. You got it. Second blue would be ideal right now. Again, this is why we don't go to five. That's a thing, all right. I would love to tutor for an for an island right now. <laughs> I almost don't want to tutor because you don't actually get anything out of it. Like we can get natural order, we can get one, two, three, four, five, six. We can get tooth and nail, but we don't have anything to put into play. Um, island one time. Card's very good. If she survives, we get to upheaval next turn. That's pretty good, right? Wow, I really thought the Pelucranos killing their Monastery Mentor and their Garrick um, would have locked this game away, but interestingly enough, it did not. Uh, we can't untap Control Magic this turn. Actually, we could have, couldn't we? Yeah, we could have. That was true. That's a good point. Yeah, you're right. I'm a dummy. Everybody knows that, though. Untap. One, two, three, four. We could also treachery. Rosanna. It's pretty insane. Yep. And that's game. All right. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Got the Restoration Angel. I guess we could have done that. If we did that a turn sooner, I don't know if they had Restoration Angel in hand, but I, I would assume they did. Either way, deck seemed much better than uh, Max Punish. What did we get punished for? What did, how did we punt? What was the punt? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. For the Twitch viewers, we're not leaving. I'm just ending the YouTube video. If you're on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Really appreciate the support. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.